Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. This is the accelerometer sensor part 2 lecture where we are going to learn about the actual motion sensors in Android. Hi, once again, this is your instructor Janice Shah. So students, in accelerometer sensor in Android, what we are going to do that, see this is my text view. Okay, I have written some text over here like shake to switch color. So you just need to shake your smartphone and the color will get changed. For this, we need to use the gravity and the motion sensor as well. Let me show you the code for the same. See, this is my first class, mainactivity.java class. That should extend their compatibility. And now we are going to implement the sensor event listener. So whenever you try to implement the sensor event listener, some of the methods you need to override as well. See, first this is a sensor manager class. Boolean color is by default false. Now, view is created and the long last update. So last update is a long variable. Now, we just need to make the view view object by text title view and the set the background color as green. Okay, so first whatever the text we have written, its background color is set as green. Now, Sensor manager object is directly connected with this and last update is equal to system dot current time millis. This returns the last updation of the color. On the below of that we need to worry two different methods. One is on sensor changed another is on accuracy changed. So on sensor change students we need to check whether my sensor type is equal to is equal to accelerometer or not. If it is accelerator, then you need to get the event, whatever the event occurs and it will be change the data. Now to change the data, this is the important task. I will explain this whole data by moving towards the program part. And on the below of that on the post resume, we just need to register our sensor again, like sensor manager dot get default sensor type is accelerometer and sensor manager dot sensor delay normal. This is on pause method that on pause you just need to unregister your sensor. Now let me just show you the code and exactly explain the how the motion sensor works. So students for this once again there is no change inside the android manifest file.xml. This is my activity underscore main.xml file where I have created a text title view okay and it is written like shake to switch the color let me just give you the size to make it little bit bigger for you and keep it center horizontal true give it the margin as well so you can easily check it out see fine so everything is done now let me just show the main activity see in the main activity students, first you need to implement the sensor event listener. After implementing sensor event listener, you need to worry the two different methods are there. First one is on sensor change and second one is on accuracy changed. See, this are two methods you need to override. So on sensor change, you just need to write like event dot sensor dot get type. If it is accelerometer, then get accelerometer event. This method is called. So get accelerometer is the customized method or I can say user defined method that we are going to made over here. Now, what about the upper part? First, you need to take the sensor manager object, make the color change as by default false, view, take the view object and the last update as a long. Now, first we need to bind the title text view here and set it the background color as green. Sensor manager create. So we need to write like sensor manager, sensor manager, get system services, system services. Last update is equal to system dot get current time millis. Remember here each and every time is taken in the milliseconds. Now let me just show you the sensor change. I have already explained this. Do not need to write anything in on accuracy change and then go down to the get accelerometer method. Now remember it is very much important to understand this code. See. First, I need to make the values array where event takes values. So whenever the event occurs, event dot values. So sensor event occurs, it returns some values. It has some values. What type of values? See, just imagine as a sphere. 
it contains like x axis y axis and z coordinate is there so x y and z three values are there so first in the from the value array on the zeroth index you will get the x coordinate value on the first index you will get the y coordinate value on the second index you will get the z coordinate value so students it returns all three values in x y and z coordinate respectively now for the float acceleration square root first you need to do that to get the acceleration square root this is a variable so first just try to get the acceleration square root okay so it goes like this x square plus y square plus z square that means x into x plus y into y, y plus z into z divided by sensor manager dot gravity earth into sensor manager dot gravity earth so whenever you try to divide your x coordinate plus y coordinate plus z coordinate each and every coordinate square divided by earth gravity earth square you will get some variable that is known as acceleration square root now the long actual time is equal to system dot current time mail is now toast dot make text get application context string value of acceleration root you will get the acceleration main root as well as the sensor dot gravity earth okay now the if the acceleration root is greater than or equal to 2 that means if you are shuffling like shaking like this and this so if you are shaking your smartphone if it is greater than 2 then if the actual time is minus last update is less than 200 milliseconds then you just go that means if it is works in less than 200 milliseconds then you just need to return if it's not then last update is equal to actual time that means the last update time will change now if the color is by default false if we set this then it is set to the green else it's set to the red if the color is false then set to the red and write the color is not equal to color that means if you are shaking it for the two types then it will change the color okay so this is the whole code about the acceleration on post reason you need to write like sensor manager or register dot listener sensor manager got that default sensor and type accelerometer here the sensor manager dot sensor delay normal and the on pause method we need to write like unregistered listener okay so this is the code for the sensor motion now now let me just run the code and show you the output so students let me just run the particular application so here it is for the sensor example 2 here what is going to be happen whenever we try to shake our phone right whenever we try to shake our phone the text color will get changed finished sweat for a while see right now the color is green okay now let me just check my phone see it is turned to the red let me just see you can if you want to see whether my phone is going to be shaked or not see on the below of this let me just keep it over here see over here you can check out the values or oh, this is the value is nothing but it's a this uh, gravitational value see over here the acceleration square root value right because we set it to the as a toast message see where is it see here it is so we are showing it accelerate square root value so once it get changed current position is there now when I'm going to shake it it is okay it is in the red color once again shake it red red green red and green fine so it is continuously when i am shaking my phone it is continuously changing okay this is all about the acceleration or i can say the motion sensor so students this is all about the android accelerometer sensor if you have any doubt in this lecture then please feel free to ask me thank you so much mm -hmm.